ESPN Plus. It is the fifth and final game of the day and a rematch of last year's Division I state championship game in Ohio as the defending champs Pickerington Central takes on Centerville who won 45 in a row before last year's title game. Title team last year. Now Johnson all the way to the basket. He's untouched for an easy. You throw out, you're going to get four on three. That plan was on point. Royal with a little bit of contact goes off the glass. When it comes to the two-point game. Seen him make a couple two-pointers in this game so far. Kenny gets it to swirl in off the glass to pull it to a two-point game. Cup stepping into a transition three. Offensive rebound. Stick back is there for Gonkiwag. Coach's kid does. Leads to an open three from the corner, and it swirls down for Powell. Royal, good contest from Powell. Offensive rebound, stick. Powell got his own miss and converts on the 15-footer. Jumper on the baseline. Offensive rebound. Kenny reloads. Got it. Kenny, one more time. You bet. He's at his best right here. Here goes Devin Royal with the two-hand stuff. Wells floats it in. Pickerington Central on a 6-0 run, and Devin Royal makes it 8-0. Rebound in the third look at it, this trip for Centerville. Cups fading away, finally got a field goal to go. So Cups created for Powell. Johnson with the speed, good look to Turner in the corner, and he rattles in the three. Well, you see, plays the game, much like Bronny. Well, how about that? Because he's not shooting well, not letting that affect him. Knows how to play in a system. Knows how to be coached. Royal with the spin on the baseline. Whoa. Powell doesn't have the answer. Offensive rebound. Jai with the finish over the top of the guy who just dunked it on him. Good take. All the way to the basket, and Johnson flipped it in with the left hand. Isn't that pretty cool to hear from the star? He could easily say it is a one-man show, but he doesn't, and this team plays as a team. He recognizes what his teammates can do, and that, that's a sign of a good ball. Dayton. And now the steal. Powell can do that as well. The energy and an outside shooter. And a quick response, though, for Pickerington Central. 30 score going into the fourth quarter. Gonkiewag from 15 feet. Big fella can... This team never stops moving. Gonkiewag can't finish on the reverse. Just padding the rebound stats, that's all. In his back, he threw it in and cut to the basket. Oh, man, heading 6-8, fading away on the base. That's what makes a team great. O'Connor, the floater in the lane, that's pure. Tipped off at 10.40 a.m. today. You see a lot of handoffs, a oh, fake handoff that time. Gonkywag. Royal. Got it. That's a big three for Devin Royal. Tigers looking to push. Johnson all the way to the cup. He banks it in. Rebound tapped around, and Gonkywag comes oh. away with it. Ripped away by Devin Royal. Gabe Cups ties this game up. Wells on the breakaway. Cup swings it out. One more pass. O'Connor for the lead. Yes! as a freshman. It's like the freshman they have this year. Gabe Cup stole the tip and laid it in. A Centerville scores quickly here in double overtime. Well, you on the defensive end and... Oh, Devin Royal. Not over yet. He makes you pause in the middle of your sentence. <laughs> <laughs> in the regular season game, it's Centerville who gets them back in double overtime. A big thank you to our entire ESPN crew for their great work tonight here at the Ohio Play-by-Play -play Classic. For Paul Biancardi, I'm Noah Reed saying good night from Columbus, where Pickerington Central falls in double overtime to Centerville, 60 to 54. Thanks so much for watching tonight on ESPN Plus.